The summer is very quickly coming to an end. We are well, second week into September now and it's that time of the year where you try to make the most of the long evenings before the autumn approaches and we spend most of our time indoors cozied up. And for those of you who have followed me on YouTube since the beginning, you will hopefully remember a video that was shot in this very field here. One of my first ever landscape photography videos was shot here where I was greeted with this stunning light, like absolutely gorgeous light with these beautiful colourful clouds above me and that was almost exactly two years to the date that I'm back right now. So I've come out tonight in the hope of getting something similar but as you can probably tell it's very overcast and grey and um, all the breaks in the clouds are actually at the opposite side to where the sun is due to set. They may still light up, may still give me some interesting colours and some interesting compositions but I'm just immersing myself in the landscape tonight and I'll tell you in a minute if I don't get a sunset I've got some other really interesting ideas for tonight. What are these interesting ideas for twilight, I hear you say? Well, as you can probably tell by the helmet, I've got my bike with me. And what I thought would be a really good idea is if we don't get this stunning sunset light that I hope for tonight, is that when we start to get towards twilight, I'm hoping to get some really interesting images of my bike with the hay bales, the lights on it to give some interesting light and some interesting sort of something different to the image that isn't normally there you know some artificial light which isn't always everybody's cup of tea but it's something different for me and uh, yeah some interesting images of me standing on top of the hay bales or sitting on top of them with my bike i've got some really good composition ideas i've been scouting out since i arrived here so i'm just going to wait for twilight now obviously if the sun does start, start to set and we get some interesting light i will take some images but if not fingers crossed for a good twilight and fingers crossed for some interesting and unusual images the sunset isn't going to come to anything so what I'm doing while I'm waiting for the twilight to appear is I'm composing some test shots for interesting images and compositions that I've come up with for when the sun does set and we have that lovely blue hour. So here, as you can probably see, there is three hay bales which are actually in sort of, they're very well symmetrical which you can't really see on this camera but from where I set up my camera, my actual camera, they're really symmetrical and what I've decided to do is to put my bike here and Ed's bike there and we're going to sit on this this hay bale here with our backs basically to the camera looking out that direction and when the sun has set we're going to put on the lights on our bikes which will then put the light into the middle and hopefully allow us and the hay bale we're sitting on to be like a silhouette and I just think it's going to be quite a cool and interesting image so fingers crossed that works I've just taken a few test shots just now the lights are rubbish it's very very flat but I'll show you them just now to give you an idea of what I have in mind and we can then compare it to the images that I take when we get to twilight just so you can see how composing your images and getting good ideas before the sun sets to then being able to utilise those cool ideas and put on the lights and whatever you need to at twilight can really allow for a better image because you've already scouted it out, you've already composed it and you know exactly what you're looking for. you can see but there's some really interesting shapes in the clouds above here it's actually like I've never really seen clouds like this before so we've got this really strong blanket of cloud completely obscuring where the sun's gonna set we've got these really interesting lines of um I'm guessing it's just more dense clouds going across this this blanket of clouds and um it looks really interesting so I'm going to try and get an image of me sitting on this hay bale with my bike and um, compose it in such a way that you can see these interesting shapes in the clouds and a little bit of post-processing to bring out that contrast in the sky hopefully it'll look like a really interesting and cool and unusual image and I always think when you're out doing landscape photography or any type of photography like tonight's not strictly landscape but I'm using the landscape to create something creative and interesting I think it's always good to when you see clouds that are unusual or anything in the environment and the in, in the scene that you're shooting that's unusual it's really good to incorporate that in your images because 
it makes your images unique. You know, if you're taking an image that many people have shot before, especially if you're in an iconic location, if you are lucky enough to be there when there is interesting light, interesting clouds, just something that little bit different, utilize it to the best of your abilities because that's where the interesting images come from and where you can get something just that little bit different. I often find this time of year the most inspirational for photography. You're getting out of that summer period, you're seeing more of those times of the days that are good for photography, you know, more of the sunrise, dawn times, more of the sunset and twilight times, and the times of the day when you feel most alive as a landscape photographer. And it's also a great time in the year, I find, to get experimental. Like tonight, for instance, I came out because I was hoping for a nice sunset, but I also knew that there was a good chance that wasn't going to happen because cloud was forecast with no breaks. And although there is still some breaks, as I say, they're not in the right place. But what it does is, just, normally in the summer months, I don't find this inspiration that I've got tonight. But the inspiration I have tonight, with the fact that I'm not getting a sunset, it allows me to feel more creative. And I think it's because you get more of that blue tones at this time of year as we're moving towards autumn. And it's just, it's exciting. It's really, really exciting. And I always find this time of year, I get, like I say, a lot more creative with my photography and I seek a more challenging image. And years ago, before I started YouTube, I was very much into light painting. I did some really interesting images with lights and stuff under bridges and, and doing some really cool stuff just, just with lights in general. So tonight, coming out with the bikes and being able to put our lights on, hopefully, when it gets a bit darker and create some interesting images around these hay bales, I just think it's such a creative and interesting way to spend your evening so much better than sitting in front of the TV. You're out in nature, immersing it, enjoying it. There's two hares in this field, which is just lovely to see. And um, just watching the light change as we head towards, you know, the darkness of the night. It's very exciting. arrived it's time to get creative with the bike lights Incredible, right? In the middle of a field, hay bales. These lights are just our bike lights, creating some really, really interesting light. I've just taken some amazing shots of us standing on this bale with uh, the light illuminating us as shadows. It just looks incredible. I had this in my mind all night. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. Cause you know what it's like sometimes? You've got these ideas in your head and you think, oh, you know, they're going to look amazing if they turn out okay. But very rarely do you have a creative idea that you pull off and you're over the moon with. And tonight's one of those nights that I can't express how happy I am with those images I've just got. So amazing. I've shown you a few already, but the best one I'm going to show you now.
now that the darker nights are coming, don't let that put you off getting out and enjoying photography. You may not be able to do too much landscape photography, as in you might struggle with the sunset because the times of the sunset is getting earlier, but there's always twilight and there's always the opportunity to get creative and do something that little bit different. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you all again next time. Thank you.